I'm Aaron Maté sitting in for Jimmy Dore here with Misha Pollan and Americans comedian Curtin Metzger. And remember this just a few years ago when the bipartisan establishment stood up and gave a standing ovation to Juan Guaido, the guy who Trump was trying to install as the president of Venezuela in a coup. Maduro is an illegitimate ruler, a tyrant who brutalizes his people, but Maduro's grip on tyranny will be smashed <laughs> and broken. <laughs> Here this evening. Uh, Nancy's not tearing that up, is she? <laughs> no, no. It's a very brave man who carries with him the hopes, dreams, and aspirations of all Venezuelans. Look at her smile. Joining us in the gallery is the true and legitimate president of Venezuela, Juan Look at Guaido. Pence now. Look at three idiots. Mr. President, yes. please take this message back to your Juan Guido, get up, take a bow, take a bow. Are you going to cut to him getting beat up in the other <laughs> Yes. Wow. So there it is. Wow, you, sir, were on Zelensky before Zelensky. <laughs> That's right. And what became of Juan Guaido? Because I remember I brought this video up when you showed, last time you, I don't know, your guest host, and you showed a restaurant in Venezuela where a bunch of Venezuelans are beating up Juan Guaido. Yeah. And just beating him, like yeah. humor, not, not to death, not like the Tucker Carlson message, just humorously hitting him with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I was bewildered that he would be in Venezuela living there because yeah. I had seen this. Well, so why would Venezuela be that nice? Exactly. It's a great question. Why didn't they arrest the guy who was fomenting a coup against them and calling for constantly for the government to be overthrown and justifying murderous sanctions that are destroying the country? Dude, Yet Venezuela never arrested him. But now we look at it, We it, gave the liver, the liver King guy four years in prison <laughs> for right. not even a real coup. Yeah. And that guy who pulled a coup back by the U.S., they let him live there. Well, I think the Venezuelan government strategy was to let the Venezuelan opposition implode on its own. And if that was a strategy, it's worked out because look, just recently this happened. Venezuelan opposition removes interim president Guaido. Well, his skin fake, looks really Fake bad. president Guaido. Uh, and <laughs> then he went over, recently he went over to Colombia where he got deported. Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido ejected from Colombia and he left to his only place of refuge, the only place where he really has a constituency. Oh, Miami. And that is Miami. <laughs> so here he is. Here is interim president Juan Guaido. En Colombia pidió a los países hoy que están reunidos con el gobierno colombiano que there's, there, there's the guy who Congress stood up for as the new president of Venezuela. This is what he's reduced to now, walking by himself in a Miami airport terminal in exile because he couldn't even stay in Colombia. Max Blumenthal says, I suspect none of the Western officials that referred to Juan Guaido with a serious face as interim president would even recognize him as he returns to his masters in Miami <laughs> in humiliation, <laughs> looking like some lone yuppie on his way to a sales <laughs> conference. Max, that's a good one. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. And Juan Guaido is not finished, though. Here he is saying, we can't allow Russia to continue destabilizing the American oh continent. My God. No permitamos que Rusia siga desestabilizando también el continente americano. Oh my God. So this guy tried to get himself installed as president of a country, uh, in a country where nobody voted for him with the help of the U.S. through uh, murderous sanctions that destroyed Venezuelan's economy and forced millions of people to flee and denied Venezuela vital supplies, including the supplies to make its oil industry run and also food and medicine. Uh, and he ha he says that it's Russia that is interfering in Latin America. Well, doesn't I mean? He, well, you can't see behind the podium. There's like a pole that he's sitting on. They hold him up like a puppet <laughs> to say the thing. You could be of some use to the system, sir. Here's Code Pink protesting Guaido. For quite some time, what prompted you? What caused you to undertake this journey to Colombia now? And what happened? To you uh, and your family when you reached Colombia, if I can. Well, first of all, it's a liar. It's a liar. Go back to Venezuela. It's been three years since Operation D. Liar. Liar. Everybody, Venezuela. 
<laughs> now the other one with uh that we just watched the code pink one that made me like very happy this one one quite a so pathetic like oh <laughs> the guy i mean max's tweet was like the most brutal thing it was more brutal than the beating <laughs> here's max again failed coup leader and former fake venezuelan president juan guaido confronted by code pink at the wilson center guaido's legacy is the theft of billions from the venezuelan state by imperialist powers and the deprivation of millions that's exactly right. And this he stole is how the money when he left. Well, his his clique got a lot of money. Uh, they they got a lot of money from uh, the U.S. and their allies. You know, U.K. stole Venezuela's gold. The U.S. stole Venezuela's oil assets. And yet, they uh, Guaido's crew w- was given control over some of that, and they got a lot of money. How okay? Well, I, I'm so confused why they the U.S. would be like, we better get Guaido out of Venezuela. Like, why was he back in Venezuela? I get when it feels like smart move, by the way, yeah. we won't do anything because it makes America look like stupid. Yes. But I don't understand why he would go back or why his handlers would be like, we can't send him back there after they robbed the country. And But they did. They why? did. Yeah. I guess they really held out hope for a long time that having the backing of the U.S. would be enough to win and these sanctions. They were counting on the Venezuelan people suffering enough that they would turn on the government. But that what, didn't what happen. What conflicts have we won? I mean, I, I'm forgetting. Uh, World War II. <laughs> then I'm a little fuzzy after that. Yeah. Grenada? We, the U.S. did win in Grenada. Panama? <laughs> Panama? Uh, U.S. I invaded Panama? Panama. <laughs> yeah, we won, but we and lost they, a dealer. Yeah. <laughs> we lost a great Coke dealer. Yeah, th- th- that is true. And the uh, U.S. also uh, burned some neighborhoods to the ground when it invaded Panama in the process. But yeah. This one, though, Juan Guaido, count that as a U.S. failure. So the U.S. did not succeed in installing their president. They did succeed, though, in hurting a lot of innocent people in Venezuela. Do you think he like will try to warn Zelensky and Zelensky will be like, get away from me, loser. <laughs> 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 you had your time. You had your Zelensky. Time. <laughs> it's my time. We're telling jokes in Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Cohoes, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Chicago, Rosemont, San Diego, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com to see get a link for all those tickets. Plus, you can watch my new special. COVID lies are funny. (laughs) 